white head like a miller's son. Which is helpful. Defend them. Maybe this one will help us. Hide the wenches. Witch is coming. Oh. Had you fill a fool's parsley, have you? Hide the wenches. Witch is coming. <sighs> Why not you? What's the problem? Oh, nothing. On your way now, good man. Shut it, got out. He could help. Little Red's band means to attack the village. Want revenge on Bertram. We haven't much, but we're willing to pay if you defend us. Who's Little Red? Word is she fornicates with wolves and can tear a man apart with her bare mitts. A she-beast in human husk. Or some call her a great beauty. She leads a pack of deserters. Two dregs, from different armies. The kind what knows killing and plundering well. Why does this band want revenge on you of all people? Because... Because I ratted on them to the witch hunters. Witch hunters care about bandits? Since when? Little Red's band. They was terrorizing our village. We had none to defend us. Finally, Bertram went by the hunters, asked them. So the hunters went after him. We had a spell of peace, but now Little Red's learnt of it all. Wants to kill Bertram. He's done for if you don't help. Fine. I'll handle the bandits. Go to your homes, bar the doors. Beware of them, Witcher. They're the dangerous type, truly. Just hire you. They did, to defend them from monsters, and humans who can be monsters. And you believe me to be such? Are you? Find out for yourself if you dare. Or give me Bertram. No one else will get hurt. What did Bertram do to you to warrant vengeance? Uh, mean they didn't mention this bit? Then listen. He came to me a half year back. Said he'd point out who's worth looting, in return for a share of the takings. But sometime on, the bugger grew greedy. He wanted more. I refused. That's when he set the witch hunters on us. Lost half me men because of him. Now step aside, Witcher. This ain't your affair. We want Bertram, no one else. You 
of my word. Don't care much what you say. Take your men and get lost, or there'll be blood. Oh, there'll be blood either way. You just ensured there'll be more of it. This is killing. Wonderful hiding he gave him. You failed to mention she was a werewolf. Well, I mean, we wasn't altogether sure ourselves. But that's a good thing. It's what witches are for, isn't it? Killing monsters. Thanks for your help. This here's well earned.
was paid for the free to them. Damn them! The Witcher. Just what our band of merry men. Trouble with Greylox. Yeah. Ah! You've been here, you've been there. So tell me. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. Mentioned you have a problem. Mm-hmm. It's Vess. She took a couple of lads across the river. She plans to hit the Black Ones at Mulberdale. So... Sounds about like what guerrilla fighters do. Yes. When they're ordered to. Whereas I forbade her from leaving camp. Indefinitely. All right. So you've got a problem. Insubordination. What am I supposed to do about it? I doubt Vess has entered the village. More likely she and the boys lie in wait in the woods nearby. We must find her before she attacks and stop her. You're a good tracker. Help me. Count me in. Thanks, Geralt. I'll owe you a favor. Meet me and Velen beneath the hanged man's tree. It's just a short jaunt from there to Mulberrydale. You trouble me, Greylocks. <laughs> Best be wary of the other side of the river. What? It's the village below. Black with Nilf guardians already. They're preparing to execute folk. No sign of this. Ah, she may be impetuous, but she's not stupid. She's waiting for her moment. Probably attack after dusk once. Shh. What now? A trio, lightly equipped, sneaking closer. Over there, near the... Death to the Black Ones! F me, Sirka! Looks like we're too late. Follow me. Ugh! <laughs> 
Not good. Mental. You ignore my orders, go off on a suicide mission, and instead of donning a breastplate, you dash into battle, shirt open, navel and whatnot exposed. You're not my father, Roach. You've no right to tell me what to wear. But I am your commander, and you will obey me. Guerrilla warfare. Warfare! It involves armies, for fuck's sake. I could not abandon them. They helped us. It's a soldier's job to kill, Bess, not save, not rescue. If that is not to your liking, join the Sisters of Militale. Study to be a healer. Fucking hell. Give me your weapon. You'll get it back when you wise up. If you wise up. Move out! Friend. <coughs> 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 Uh-oh. Got yourselves a prisoner. We don't take prisoners. You took my weapon, Roach. So I must manage with my bare hands. Leave him alone. There are corpses enough here. What? You heard me. I did, and I can't believe it. He came here to murder civilians. He's seen us. Will you have him return to his camp and report? Emir knows we can kill his men. Let him learn that we can also show mercy. Roach is right. Besides, killing a defenseless... What is it with you, Roach? Did the Witcher take your stones? They're sadists. He's the occupier. I will explain later. You, Nilfgaardian, piss off. Morentai. Nes dirmad ava. Go, before I change my mind. Ah, we should go before a patrol comes along. Thank you, Geralt. Ever need any help, you know where to find me.
Yes. Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. It is a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. I've got a problem. Can we talk? Yes, Geralt? Look what I picked up. Artifact compression. Someone got themselves enchanted in this figurine. Intend to decompress? Of course. Whoever cast the spell on the poor soul must have forgotten about him. I think it's a soldier. We'll know soon enough. Come with me. I know a place where the walls don't have ears. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. This is pretty grim. True. It looks like a vampire's hideout. Which is why we can be pretty sure no one will bother us here. Give me the figurine and stand back. Let's try to decompress this one. Anything I can do to help? Yes. Be quiet and try not to disturb me. In Alan Dwana Ar Ice. Verde and the Kelter. Who are you? What am I doing here? As a bond. <laughs> You're exhausted. Always happens with compression. Get some rest. Yes, I should. Once you've recovered a bit, you should find Ambassador Varatra. He's sure to help. Good luck. That was interesting. And exhausting. Oh, to fall onto a feather bed and sleep till... Well, till I woke.
Want to buy very cheap floors and watered down wine? Hey, <laughs> you can't control what I inherit. But you can control what you do with I it. Mean, okay. I know. I know, which is exactly why I'm considering. Oh, you're always considering. If it's not one thing, it's another. Let me know when you finally decide. Black ones, Redanians. As long as they pay and don't hit. What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Called me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. Maybe the Vivaldis would give you a loan. I'd vouch for you. Funny you mention that. I went to see Vivaldi. You know what he said? Witchers are no good as guarantors. Risk of premature death is way too high. But I have another idea. I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? You know, I bought that wine for a reason. Long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know, no matter what you might think. Fine, tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me and then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena. One of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What will you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Fine, but... Geralt? The only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Old man Newman left me a gift last time. What? He never given me nothing but Meg floppy life. diddly. If you don't know how to give, you can't receive. Saying I'm no good at giving. To give, you've got to have talent and character. <sighs> What's he schemed up this time?
so good to see you. You and Dudu know each other well? Yes, though he's never told me much about himself. He was a merchant once? Mm -hmm. Dudu always had a penchant for enterprise. Probably too honest to succeed in Novigrad, though. Precisely. I've told him countless times that no matter how many times he changes his appearance, the good in him will always emerge. Bloodthirsty tyrants and vicious assassins. He played them so poorly. That must be why. Whereas he always made for an excellent trusted servant or ghost of the old king. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know, but Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. Finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Are you 
you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, and your mask. Put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Not your lucky day, miss. Hand me your purse. Now. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I! Though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. More like the Crimson Asshole. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. Oh, uh, uh, better than I thought. Come on, come closer. I mean, Crimson Avenger! The Crimson Avenger triumphs again. My hair! Are you well? One blow struck true. Another scar from my collection. Come inside. I shall bandit you up. Be gone, vile bandit, or the Crimson Avenger will beat you senseless! <laughs> <laughs>